Have you ever wondered how the GC heat comes into existence in the dark night process? Midnight has. Let's take a look. As part of the runtime initialization, we reserve memory for the initial segments of the GC heap. As you know, we have small object heap and large object heap. So we have a segment for small and another one for large. If you're using server GC, we would repeat this for each heap. So this would be our heap zero, and the same thing happens to other heaps. Now, in order to store information about each segment, we commit a little bit of memory per segment in order to write that information. Now let's look at the initial segment of the small object heap in detail. As you know, there are three generations on SOH 0, 1, and 2. We need to indicate where these generations start. We do that by allocating three minimum size free objects at the beginning of the segment after the segment info. And Gen 2 will start at the first one. Gen 1 will start at the second one. And Gen 0 will start at the last one. For large object heap, since we just have one generation, we just need to allocate one generation start here. Allocation will fill Gen 0. And let's say at some point, a Gen 0 GC is triggered. If we're only collecting Gen 0, it means Gen 2 and Gen 1 don't change. The survivors of Gen 0 will get compacted and considered as part of Gen 1 now. And we'll allocate a new generation start for Gen 0. That's how Gen 1 comes into existence. There's always more to talk about, but Midnight needs her now. Bye for now.